hurts. <laughs> how, did this, how did you get back into this situation? How did this happen? Whoa, 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 wait. This is the same game. So you need for start or something with, there's no way. There's no way. What's going on everybody, this is Fry. So today we're doing something a little different. Instead of it being highlights that happen on my stream, I'm gonna be reacting to highlights that you guys submitted. So if you want to submit highlights for the next time we do this in the next video, you can find the link to the Floral Federation Discord server in the description below and find the channel that says Fry Clip Submission. You can submit your clips there. Not all the clips are going to be included in the videos. Uh, they just chose the absolute best ones for me to react to. I can't wait to do this. I'm very excited. So we're going to, without further ado, react to this approximately 15-minute video. And uh, here we go. So we got starting off with Infinity against Solar Flare. And let's just get right into it here. It says, all right, you think you're safe. So we have like four damage on the board. Opponent has eight health and double strength right into Quasar for lethal. I think it depends where the strengths came from. If one of them was naturally Infinity's superpower, then that's not such a great highlight. But we'll just check. Quandra by Quasar? Okay, no, that's broken. <laughs> Two brute strengths conjured by Quasar when we only had... He only had four damage on the board, and all of a sudden, <laughs> he's going face for eight for ten that turn. All right, that's decent. Conjuring two strengths, come on, from Quasars. It's brutal. This one's called, nice field you got there. Mind if I clean it up? Uh, teleport Zombot. But the Zombot looks like heavily discounted, like it came from Buried Treasure, and he played HG Superpower. See, we've seen a lot of teleport Zombots on the channel. <laughs> it's also, but I'll tell you why this one, I'll tell you what's special about this one, guys. It's time to play what turn is it? This is turn seven. He's got a zero cost teleport and a seven cost Zombot. Like if this was turn 10, this wouldn't be that big of a highlight. But first of all, it's turn second. Second of all, the opponent has a full board and exactly nine health, which is how much damage Zombot's doing. This is pretty epic, guys. <laughs> Teleport Zombot turn seven. The best Zombot in the history of PvZ Heroes right here. It's probably it. That's gotta be it, right? <laughs> Zombot out of Zombot KO out of nowhere. Love it. Fantastic. This is some quality. Quality highlights coming in from people aren't necessarily recording all their gameplay. It's easier when you're a streamer. What is this? RNGs is coming out of nowhere to backstab you. Tale of a Cruel World. They're making some drama here in the clip. Alright, so what's happening? It starts off... Let's follow this. We got a couple Gargs on the field. Opponent's gonna be down. We're at 14. Opponent's down to 1 health. Okay, you got some Allosaurus Hardichoke action. So he's doing like a whole bunch of 1 damage. It all gets blocked. So just procs the block here. A little telepathy between turns. There's no way this Wall Knight wins this match, right? What did he, what is this Wall Knight gonna have? No, 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 one second. Environment, oh, oh yeah, that'll, and had Loco Coco. Oh, so that's going to be lethal for Wall Knight. Yeah, and then it's just Zombie. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, bro. Yeah, the whole heal setup. Yeah, it didn't work. All right. This is why goat decks are the goat. I'm sorry. All right. Secret Agent Goat. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Walnut signal. Brady can't move, still ain't one. Okay, he's buffing that. Here's Goat. So the Goat's gonna get area 22 and grow. Oh, it's just Goat. Does Goat Lunchbox Lunchbox win here? Uh, it basically does. Why did he not Lunchbox the Goat? 
blocks. Evaporate does nothing. Go goes up to seven. Seven and three equals lethal. Ah, okay. Secret agent go. Small highlight that one. Next highlight. Come on guys, let's get the good ones here. Now R and Jesus decide to screw this up. So Doomshare from Hell, the most annoying card in PvZ Heroes history. Come on. Opponent has eight health. Looks like we got seven on the board. Uh, this game looks like it belongs to Wall Knight between Super and Geyser. I mean, unless the opponent's packing a flamenco, this this seems to be pretty can <laughs> blockbuster. What was in the box, by the way? Teleportation zombie, yeah. Hammer time. I mean, there's no way Brainstorm comes back. There's no way Brainstorm conjures something from this pumpkin that screws this up. Bro, you gotta use the heal. Yeah, use the heal. I don't think you use the super here. You use wait till next turn. It's not a whole lot that can do 11 damage. Alright, come on. Show me this. Show me what you got. Dig them. Dig them up. No, 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 no. Okay. And, well, if you get Zombot, that's, that's going to be that. Uh, we got one Frenzy card, so that's six damage. We're also healing a great... Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. The situation was a nurse would have actually saved here, but... And any of the other three lanes could have gotten blocked, too. But you end up with Garg Feast in lanes 2, 3, and 4, and the Bullseye in lane 1 got it. Okay. I thought the Brainstorm was going to win! The Wall Knight just dominated there. When RNG gives you the Puzzle Party solution... is This isn't a Puzzle Party? Wait, is this a Puzzle Party or not? No, it's not. You can see there's a name up there on the top, so this is ranked. Uh... He uses photosynthesizer. He gets. He has some mirror nuts in hand, but he, he did get like some hot lava. So that's gonna make. That's. <laughs> okay. You. Exploiting their card in order to get lethal. Honestly, that's basically lethal anyway with mirror nut, but it just prevents the opponent from like. I don't know. Playing a bonus attack or or something like that. <laughs> All right, cool. Eh. I like the turn seven teleport zombot the best so far. Guarantee lethal out of nowhere. Are, are, oh, this is crediting the music. That's what you can see over here. There's a bone in my spaghetti. That's the music. What is this? Double mustache. I mean, it's 9 health and 8 health. But you're just gonna... Bad Moon Rising. You're gonna need 9 damage here. So any minion plus a Frenzy in lane 3 would be lethal. The opponent did not have a berry to kill one of those imps though, which is very sad. Turn 7 here. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> any, by any... Binary plus basically anything wins. Alright. Decent Bad Moon Rising. Con Man Sudden Clutch before death. So we got 13 health. Boogaloo is dead. I mean, Boogaloo is absolutely dead. You're going to need to Fruit Cake will make it 9. And if I don't know if this guy has... Wait, does the Con, the con Man has Frenzy? If the comment has Frenzy, it's doing 12-13. It's exactly lethal. And the backup dancers has to hit lane 1, so you don't die. Well, you can fruitcake lane 1. Any oh, no, you have to fruitcake the, the wing knot. So first of all, you need a backup dancer to end up in lane 1. I don't know the the context of this and how the... I have no idea how a con man got Frenzy here if it's not in Area 22. What card would give that Frenzy? He conjured a going viral somehow at Boogaloo? Uh, but yeah, that'll... That'll be lethal. <laughs> I want to see the context! It didn't show how the con man... Guys, if you guys are submitting clips, you gotta show how that con man got Frenzy. I don't see any fusions. There's no way it was... It must have been just a conjured going viral. Somehow Boogaloo. I don't have no idea how he conjured going viral, but... That's what happened, guys. 
The Frenzy Synergy. If anyone knows the backstory to this uh to this clip, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Okay. Oh, maniacal laugh. Oh, you're right, it was just maniacal. Good point. I'm stupid. I could use some salt for those fries. Uh, so we grew that to a 7-7 seven, seven peapod. That's pretty harsh. B-Rex. We need a leap. Breeze. Uh, Undying Pharaoh? Dark? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Come on, man! Getting shark there, it kills a 7-5. And in this banana Saurus Rex does not oh just concede. That's is this gonna be lethal? <laughs> you can see it. it wasn't lethal, but it was pretty close. Alright, that's some quality content, guys. Leap Shark against two monsters when you had no way out of the game. Here's a... is this just a hacker? What's with all the admirals? Block lightning ball. So eight health to eight health. What is this Boogaloo gonna do? How is he? What? It's a hacker? It's a hacker, okay. Block? Block? Okay, 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 here comes the comeback, guys. Kill the hacker. It's always a highlight if you can kill the Admiral Navy being hacker. Come on. I'm rooting for you, bro. Where are we gonna get? Oh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> extinction event. Run extinction event in every deck. Not only is it a decent card, but it ruins these guys. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna do it. And between turns, yep, he's gonna draw one more Admiral Navy Bean and bite the dust. Yes! Yes! Stupid hacker. Imagine having that little skill in this game that the only way you can win is by hacking. Pretty bad. OTK electrician duo with secret agent. So he's secret agent and electrician. <laughs> no, this is godlike. This is godlike. So that's a seven, and then it's a seven. That's crazy. That's turn six. You did 21 damage. That's busted, man. We got to do some more secret agent electrician. That's so good. <laughs> I love that one. That was great. All right. Awesome. We got some good highlights here. OTK line dancing zombie. Wait, so it has strike through and it has frenzy from the area 22. And you gave it galvanize and there's two minions in the area 22. Look at the opponent's 20 health just get deleted here. Because it does seven and then it does two bonus attacks. Yeah, there's no point in freezing. The player on Berry Blast in case of California rolls. Uh, but yeah, just <laughs> get absolutely deleted. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, we'll see a situation here. Dandelion King is Green Shadow's signature should still D tier. They're critiquing the the thing. So we have a very big like Bad Moon Rising board on one side. We're propping the block with Dandelion King. Let's see where this goes. Uh, more Dino Roars. Plant food. Green Shadow Super. Wow, harsh. See, the opponent had a full block meter, four health, and this insane board. So even if you have Plant Food Super, you still don't win because the proc the block. Do you lose in lane two? Actually, you didn't even have to proc the block because lane two does not win. But yeah, well, no, you have to proc the block first so they don't get summoning or backup dancers during the attack phase, which means Brainstorm 100% wins here if he actually didn't proc the block with Dandelion King. Where did Green Shadow even get Dandelion King from? I mean, that's a miracle. That's that's a triple stack miracle to have that combo in that situation. Also, have a way of proccing the block with Green Shadow because Green Shadow has no Berry Blast or anything. So having a Dandelion King there, man. That's an actual miracle. Fry will be happy to see this. Okay, here we go. So we got Infinity. 10 health. Infinity's at 18 health. Uh, teleport Ninja <laughs> Deadly? Wait, wait, wait. Where did, Infinity, where did Infinity get Teleportation Zombie from? We need context, guys. You gotta include the part where he conjured Teleportation Zombie. Okay, it came from Buried Treasure. 
because it costs one. It's discounted. Okay. See, this is why crazy sneaky. If everyone always asks me if you could do three classes in one deck, what would it be? And it's always going to be brainy, crazy, sneaky. Because then there's just these nuts combos you can do where you're teleporting in a deadly barrel, or in this case, it's going to be a de deadly ninja. So you get tell. This is the dream. I mean, this is the absolute dream. You have an environment set up on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Starch Lord. See you later. <laughs> Starch Lord's dead. This makes me so. <laughs> what did it say? What did it say? <laughs> what did it say? I need to see what it says. The footage unfortunately ends like that. Sorry, it's okay. It was worth it. This twin sunflower thinks he's split pea. What the heck? Look at this. The twin. What's with the graphics? What? Why do the numbers look so weird? Wait, what? He time to shine into a gravestone. Wait, it lost team up. Is this just the Russian version of PvZ Heroes where where cards just don't work at all? <laughs> Wait, why did it not work? I don't understand. But I, I would really like to see the Twin Sunflower. I feel like that since the numbers are messed up, I feel like this is a modded version of the game. And they just switched the... They switched like the, the graphics of Twin Sunflower with something else. Does this does the twin sunflower like attack our own face? Will it like shoot backwards here? I don't know what that says. Will it like shoot the our face because a split pea? This is just a mod. It's gonna like shoot ourselves, right? Yeah, okay, it's just a mod of PvP heroes. It's not a highlight. That's just that's just someone trolling us. Okay, next. You can see all the numbers are all messed up. I don't think the Russian version of BBC Heroes actually looks like that. Bungie is not that good of a card. Nerd emoji. Bungie. Bungie. And top deck another Bungie for the win. I don't think anyone thinks Bungie's not a good card, but okay. Three Bungies to face for the win. Unexpected game mechanic discovery. What's this gonna be? Something with Vimpire. Vimpire always has the weird game mechanic stuff. <gasps> oh, I think I know what this is going to be. Guys, wait. I, I know what this is. I won't spoil it for you. Look at the... Uh, the, the, the okay, so you have a Vim ancient Vimpire in the field. And you also have a Swimmer. And the Swimmer now has Frenzy. So it's going to grow every time it's Frenzy. So it's going to grow every single time it kills something. So it does its animation, obviously, because, you know, everything does their animation. <laughs> it goes to the water lane. Why, though? It's some crazy thing, because things do, they're, like, they're, when they grow from an ancient vampire, they sometimes do their animation. I think that's, most cards will do their effect animation. But for some reason... When 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 synchro when synchronized sorry it's not synchronized swimmer it's high diver usually is doing his animation on heights and diving into the water lane it's not even on heights it's just in an environment I mean it wasn't just played this shouldn't be its ability isn't actually activating it's only it's only the animation is activated for some reason. The game thinks that, that it's its ability now. Does it even do the frenzied attack, by the way? It didn't even do the... Wait, it didn't even do the frenzied attack. It just, like... Watch this. It kills something. It grows. It's kind of like reverse cowboy. Like, it left the area 22, so it's just not frenzy anymore, so therefore it doesn't do the frenzied attack. It's like a cowboy in an area 22 that if it moves out after killing something, it's just like, nope, uh, we, we don't, we don't, I don't, I'm not frenzy anymore. Hey, you win anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> that's just game. That's not a game mechanic. That is just a mistake in the game code. That's just a glitch. That's actually an, an unintended glitch. But thanks for showing us that. That's really fun. So call an ambulance, but not for me. So we see the smash with 19 health. And we got spit out with six health. Spit out is dead. I mean, look at this attack phase coming into play here. There's a deep sea gargan lane five. Spit out is dead here. So the only, the only answer would be getting some miracle from Fig. Uh, what is he gonna get? Great zucchini. He's gonna get great zucchini from from the Fig, one of the hibernating berry. I mean, this is guaranteed lethal nine nine hundred and ninety nine times out of a thousand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fact that this happening in any game would be a highlight. The fact that it was absolute guarantee lethal, and now Spadal's got this game here. Two turns later, you just walnut bowl. I saw a walnut bowling in hand. This is two turns late. How did this? How did you get back into this situation? How did this happen? Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait. This is the same game. So you need for start or something with there's no way there's no way guys come on <laughs> somehow he finds himself here after that miracles spadash should have won the game with walnut bowling i don't know how that didn't happen but this is guaranteed lethal again zombot just procs the block and i mean for starters you need this this somehow he had okay he was running splash so somehow he had this fireweed you need this to just do because you get meteor okay really lucky you got meteor there for starters you need this to do four damage which is a big ask for a random guy from transfiguration but for it to do not only remove lane two but to do six damage i mean come on even a jumping beam a jumping me would have lost the game too because this, the, the, he would have won with the Garg. The Garg, the 5 5 Garg in lane 3 would have just won the game. <laughs> that was like the only. I guess the Great Zucchini again would have done it. And the fact that happened twice in the same game where he got the Great Zucchini too, man, that, that, that is probably. That has got to be one of the biggest highlights I've ever seen in this game. Period, period, period. Absolutely fantastic. What a gem. Thank you so much, whoever submitted that one. Oh, you got Plank Walker? How <laughs> about Triple Leaps? <laughs> okay, I see a Mall Cal in hand. We got Pair Paradise set up. Solar Flare's got 14 health, which is not a lot with a 7 7 Plank Walker. Uh, Neptuna's got 9 health. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, might as well set up some more ammunition. And, uh, yeah, you don't set up the little buddy because you need two molecules here. So here's the first molecule. <laughs> Entire block of text in the middle of the board. Um, you got double soul patch. That'll definitely help. Oh, can we get, like, a kernel corn here? Yeah, kernel corn also adding <laughs> 20 health. So all of a sudden we got, uh, 34 health. Also, the opponent's field is basically in shambles. Oh, and you actually conjured another molecule. So then you Colonel Corn again. There's three great zucchinis, but they don't even have a chance to hit anything. And all of a sudden, from almost dying, it turns into that. <laughs> because of another Colonel Corn. We got a third molecule from a Leap Dominion. That's pretty insane, bro. Pretty insane. Here's a Bad Moon Rising. This is basically the last one. All hopes were lost until. So we got Wall Knight with 11 health. Huge Giganticus has got 2 health. Uh, we Bad Moon Rising here. How good does this Bad Moon Rising look? Nothing's happening in lane one. Uh, lane four is also very sad because you only have two health. So even with the hunting grounds, that wannabe hero only has four health. It's going to be an even trade. Wait a minute. The Galactus Splash. Oh, we get a guard. But the, it's five damage strike. You need Zomba. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you get... You kill the Galactic Cactus. You randomly... Get a guard launcher, and then you randomly get Zombot versus five damage guaranteed strike through damage from an Elderberry for the win. Oh man, and here's for finally we get Tryhard here submitted one of his clips. Special guest Tryhard, the perfect way to end the match. Changed my mind. All right, okay, I get well, let's see this. Yo, he did the wrong one. Yo, what is he doing? 
Wow. You didn't I? punish him? I'll let Tryhard do the yeah, talking well, here. I'm actually mad that that actually worked out. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming in. Come on, Fig. Come on, Fig. Do your thing. Got two figs. So first, first one. one? Oh, <laughs> Whoa, he got what we got. We'll yeah, have to start off we'll with Fig What do we got? Dandelion? <laughs> that's five Yo. damage. Yo, he plumbered the wrong card. What else? Wait. Gathering? No, Did that's gonna hit. Gear? That's gonna yeah. hit. Because when when you when you, the double that? strike actually happens, if something transforms that to that lane. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bro. Oh, thank you, Tryhard, for that treat. <laughs> treat. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. That's the rest of the video. That is gonna be all for now. So uh, once again, if you guys have uh, good clips, you definitely got a feel for what I consider. Uh, to be a good clip or not if you guys have good clips not taking photos uh, but actual video of your gameplay with some highlights uh, make sure to look in the description of this video you will see a link to the floral federation discord server and look for the channel there called fry clip submission that was really fun and i'm really really happy to be reacting to your guys highlights not only just mine every single time i've been thinking of doing this for a really long time so shout out to the floral federation specifically random for uh putting this entire project together uh for me to uh for me to be able to react to your guys highlights that was amazing hope you guys enjoyed that was the reacting to your clips i will see you guys in the next one peace this is fry